G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. I didn't get around to painting any Romans last night. Uh, as I said, I would uh, I think I uploaded a video yesterday. And I might have mentioned that I was going to paint some Romans in the evening, the Roman uh, Legionnaires that I started quite some time ago. Um, that was sitting here on my painting shelf on, on uh, these uh, painting pegs. These are just 9 centimeters of 30 mil down with a magnet in the bottom of it so I can attach them to a metal plate on my desk so they don't fall over. Um, but I didn't get around to it. I went to the neighbor's house yesterday. Apparently they came around in the morning and invited us to a barbecue, but I didn't remember about that. Um, and then 6.30 my wife was heading out the door. She's like, are you coming? I was like, where? She said, to the neighbor's house. We're having a barbecue. I was like, well, fine, fuck it. Let's go around to the neighbor's house. And um, my neighbor Danny brews as well. And I took over some of my mango pale ale and we drank many, many, many liters of that. And uh, yeah, by the time I got back in the evening, uh, it was not... Uh, not practical to be trying to paint uh, toy soldiers. So anyway, I didn't do any painting yesterday, but I'm here, I'm at it. I thought you show where where I'm up to with these guys. Um, I don't know where all the shields have gone. They used to be on something. Are they on this? I don't know where they've gone. Oh, come on out you get. No, normally I attach all the shields to a piece of wood and blue tack and ah, they'll be around the place somewhere. So anyway, here we go. Let's have a look at those Romans. Okay, so here we go. Um, they all would have started on that piece of wood that we saw before uh, on the blue tack. I sprayed all of them with uh, the Army Painter Silver Spray Chain Mail or whatever it's called. And then picked out all the flesh. And then I started picking out um, leather parts and parts that will be bronzed. Um, so you can see on this lady here is here Centurion maybe. Um, he's got a bunch of this scale sort of stuff on his armor. I'm not a historian, right? I have a vague passing interest in what these guys look like, but beyond that, I'm painting them however I want. Um, so, like for example, all of these little tabard parts, they might have been red, who knows? On my dudes, they're going to be bronze. Um, I did apparently get part way through to doing some bronze on some of these. Anyway, so there we are, that's all I've been doing. Um, picking out the flesh and the leather parts and I still need to come back and do all their toes you can still see their silver sort of I didn't see those in the beginning and the, you know just ignored them you know as you start painting a figure you sort of start seeing more and more and more things pop out so I don't know what colors I used um, I've been finishing up the others with the, the Vallejo um, leather brown um, there we go that's what I've been doing uh, the ones that didn't get done about a year ago with and it looks fine so I'll keep doing the rest of them like this. I've got another three of these units. There's 24 men in this. The standard bearer has this head um, and this wolf pelt thing. Anyway, there we go. What a wonderfully terrible video, Viv. Ah, there we go. There's my Roman so far. So now that they've all been done, um, it's time to move on to the next colour. So I have one guy that I've picked out um, the bronze on and his red tabard. So I'm going to go through now and, and do the, the red on all the others. Then I'll come back and do the bronze on all the others. Now, I don't know why there's a mix of guys here with the Pelum and a mix of guys with Gladiuses. I don't know if that's just how I assembled them or that's what came in the box. Um, I don't know why. Normally you'd from what I've seen, at least anyway, you'd have a unit with the the P limbs and the, and then a unit with swords. They don't wouldn't normally mix. I don't know. I don't really care as long as it gets painted. Uh, that's really all I care care about. So that's it. And, uh, we're up to the next step. Like I just said, the red tabard cloth parts of these guys. Once I've done that, I'll give the armor um, a wash with a Devlin Mard or Bada Black or whatever the known oil I think it is these days. Um, <laughs> I wonder how long it's been called Nuln Oil for probably many, many, many years. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to do those and then they'll all get quick shaded. So there we are. There's my update for today. Hopefully when we come back tomorrow, everything's bronzed and got red on them and ready for um, quick shading. Hopefully. We'll see. I just want to do the red tonight and we'll see what happens tomorrow. <laughs> Take care. See ya.